Yo, what is going on, you indecisive Inteleon? <laughs> Playing some ADP position today, but it is a little bit different than the normal ADP position you're probably used to seeing. This one is ADP position Nine Tails, uh, abusing that mysterious guidance from the Nine Tails GX to um, to be kind of our like uh, extra consistency in the deck. We don't play Jirachis um, or the Orangaroo, just the mysterious guidance from the Nine Tails GX. We also got the Mimikyu in here with the Copycat because we do play E Switch, so we can kind of set this guy up out of nowhere, and he can be a big game changer for sure. So we got this guy in there as well, and I mean the deck's a lot of fun um to abuse nine tails kind of the best deck to play the nine tails in so you've been fiending to play some nine tails this is the deck you've been looking for um but yeah that's kind of all i had to say on it besides that it's just adpization uh with a twist but it makes it a lot more fun than just playing standard adpization so let's go ahead let's play some games okay we're gonna be going second here in this uh first one opening hand is mulligan all right fine gotta get a new one then Let's see if uh, this one is uh, any better. Nope, opened to Dene, not much better uh, at all. Actually, uh, would have preferred to mulligan, definitely. <laughs> it doesn't look too much different than our last hand, but yeah, I definitely would have preferred to mulligan than drawing uh, these specific cards. All right, so we gotta hope for, I mean, decent top deck would be okay, but really probably just gonna end up Marnie and then hoping we find that energy plus ADP is a mirror match. Our opponent is also playing ADP station there on that tag call build. Um, they got a couple mulligans to work with. Definitely want to take those away with Marnie. Let's see if they also have a. Yep, there's a quick ball. Forization. So, pretty much ideal turn one here from our opponent. Energy to ADP. Zation, Intrepid Sword. It doesn't get better than that. Better than that for uh, ADP on the first turn. That pretty much is, is the ideal turn one right there. Let's see how many metal they rip here. Zero metal off the sword, though. Um, okay, quick ball. Um, probably give up the fairy energy, I think. I want to keep the great catcher. I want to keep the custom. Let's yeah, give up the fairy energy here. Gonna get that uh, ADP. It's important we get an energy on ADP, specifically a metal or a water. Uh, specifically, not that fairy energy, which is in there just for the nine tails. Um, I guess we can also use it with the um, ultimate. Uh, ultimate ray. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dead change here. I'm going to leave the Nine Tails in the deck. And we also want an Intrepid Sword. The main reason we want a Dead Change here is because we also want an Intrepid Sword. Just draw a lot of cards. Get a Vulpix down. That would also be ideal. Uh, not right now. Because we also need to find a Switch card. There's the Switch card. So we got the turn 2 GX attack. Uh, but from there, it's not looking super good. Um, it's, it's looking all right. We could... Nah, yeah. It's not looking too ridiculously good um, from there. Because they're going to get the first hit in. Uh, they might not be able to go like back-to-back -back chaos on the Denization. They might be able to do that, though. Which is what I'm scared of we'll have the marnie though so we'll ideally be able to disrupt their hand and actually i mean i guess it's possible that they don't have that great of a turn here comes a quick ball um prob oh they got rid of a research so i'm assuming it's gonna get like a jirachi or something yeah you don't usually discard research and then get to dene the dene is what i want to see them put into play because i want to be able to go ultimate ray knock out the dene then knock out zation um there's that jirachi here's an air balloon to the zation there's the dene i wanted to see so we are going to go switch into adp and we probably depending on how big their hand is we might not marnie because we want to be able to save that great catcher to be able to go great catcher today and knock out and then we want to look at double custom knockout zation and that's our game plan there's a catcher I'm trying to make it harder for us to pull off the uh gx attack ourselves on our turn yeah only five cards in hand i could marnie but i could save it for the next turn and go great catcher marnie um, and if they chase a Dedenne or a Zation on their following turn, or Dedenne specifically, I guess would be the thing they'd want to chase, and then Ultimate Ray Knockout. Ooh, all right, here comes a Marnie, though. Here comes a Marnie from our opponent. Let's see, we need a switch. No switch. We did get an energy to work with, and we have a research. Um, so we're still in a fine spot, just need to get that switch. Let's see what our top deck is. Is that Air Balloon? Okay, that's a pretty good top deck there. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, quick ball away. I just gotta get rid of the saucer. I'm just gonna get rid of the saucer here to be as safe as possible. Gonna get that ball picks. Um, attach to the ADP, bench the picks, play the research. Yeah, the air balloon top deck is pretty good there. We still would have had a pretty good chance of finding something, I think, but um, better just to have it right now, right? All right, alter creation. Setting up. Looking for that turn two knockout on the Dene and then knockoutization end the game. Our opponent is looking for the same. They could even go knockout the Dene, knockout the Dene. We kind of just have to hope they don't get it. 
Uh, we have to hope they just don't pull off that that line of play. Um, there's nothing else we can really do here at this point. This is the ADP station mirror match, especially when Dedenne's get involved. It's uh, yep, there we go. There's great catcher. Dedenne's gonna go down. They're gonna get three pre three prize cards, um, and then also set up another station there with the ultimate ray. Um, we're gonna try and do the same on our turn. We're gonna try and bring up a Dedenne. They did not play a supporter that turn, so I really don't want to Marnie our opponent. But with my current hand. I kind of don't have a choice other than to play Marnie. So we're hoping for probably the top deck research here, um, to be honest. And then on our opponent's turn, we're hoping they whiff the gust effect. Um, here we go. Send up this. We could also try and pull off the um, knockout through Mimikyu here using ultimate ray. That would be pretty good. Here's the double custom. That was a really good top deck. Uh, unfortunately... We still have to Marnie our opponent. Marnie for Marnie our opponent. It looks like there we go. I'm gonna quick ball away this station. I don't think I need that anymore. I'm gonna grab the Mimikyu here. We could get E Switch plus Aurora, um, and then Ultimate Ray knock out this to Dene. Um, but having ADP in our active is still just as good. Here we did get the combo. Um, we did get the Aurora plus Energy Switch combo. So I could have this in my active instead of the ADP, but I don't think having the ADP in my active is really that big of a deal. Um, I guess if they put a shrine in play, it could be. So maybe this is a little bit safer. So I guess we'll just go with this because it does seem to be a a little bit safer here. I'm going to e-switch the metal off because I want the water on the ADP. And then I'm um, going to use that copycat, man. Knock out this to Dene. Um, I didn't expect to get this. So it definitely would have been better to copycat knock out the ADP but yeah I didn't expect to get the copycat play that's kind of a a lot to get on the turn um gonna get uh, three prize cards to work with we did have one nine tails prize so nine tails would be ridiculously good here there it is and yeah this is it we have the same same line of play going for us as our opponent but they are one turn ahead of us because they did go first GX attack knock out two prize or knock out two prize for three prizes and three prizes um if they've got it this turn, they win the game. If not, we have a shot at it on our turn. Uh, and I think we just currently have it set up. There's a Guzman Hollow Grab off a tag call. But yeah, I think we currently just have it set up. Nine Tails should be able to get us double custom, which I'm pretty sure is in the deck. Um, and then we double custom up uh, a Zacian, knock it out. They're going for a Dedenne here, so we could go after the Dedenne with a Great Catcher now. Um, and knock that out instead. Um, they gave up what a one custom catcher there. I believe yeah one customs down They still have three customs left and then some amount of Pokemon catcher. They use their great catcher already. Here's a Pokemon catcher That's a tails here comes another one another tails. We're still kicking. They haven't played their supporter for turn quite yet though, so they could definitely um, Dig a little bit deeper they definitely have some gust effects left here comes a quick ball And if not they're probably gonna retreat to Jirachi and just Stella wish for the turn um should uh should they whiff here's a rangaroo is this a research digging that much is a custom for three okay let's see what they possibly have left they're down three pokemon catchers so they could have one more pokemon catcher and up to two more customs i have a feeling they probably play three pokemon catcher one great four customs um so i think we're pretty much in the clear at this point i think i'm feeling pretty good at this point um feel pretty confident that uh we're gonna be able to pull out the dub uh on this next turn we'll see there are there's the research they still have a research to go through maybe they play four pokemon catcher i'm kind of just assuming three there's the fourth there's a heads in the end all right all right it took them all the way to the fourth pokemon catcher uh and we are going to take the l here in the mirror match we got to use the mimikyu which is pretty cool not quite enough but it got close to being enough um let's see if we can't pull out the dub in the next one all right we're into another one here um Going first this time, exactly what we want as an ADP deck. Um, open the ADP energy, not much else to work with. We got two saucers, two nine tails. Um, so hopefully that changes with the, the couple top decks we're gonna have before, um, before this game gets really going. Yeah, we're gonna have two more top decks here. Let's see, it is like up against Baby Blounds, attach and pass. I could bench the Mimikyu, um, but in these times, if they knock out the ADP this turn, we basically lose anyways. So these are the situations where I just, I'm like, you know what? If you knock us out, you win. Go ahead. Um, we're living on a top deck anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna need some kind of top deck in this one for sure. It is not looking good um, at all. We'll see. We'll see. A good One good top deck, you know, with the Dene, Marnie, Research. Uh, we would have to give up quite a bit. We'd lose two Ninetales and two Saucer, but... We'd be playing the game. Actually, our opponent looking like uh, 
They don't got much going on either. They're going for the Blazer right off the bat. 10 damage to our ADP. Nothing else played out of the hand. There's that Cherish Ball I was talking about. There's a Dedenne in the deck. Um, put on the Mimikyu. Air Balloon active. Dede change. You know, we... I don't know if I should mention him. He could be okay. Depending on if they have some strange stuff going on. All right. Aurora Energy. Discard. The Metal... Alter creation. Let's see if our opponent has anything. Um, I could have, I could have quick balled for uh, what's it called? I guess the um, Vulpix. I could have quick balled for a Vulpix. I guess, yeah, that wouldn't have hurt for sure. Would have been all right. Would have been all right to have a Vulpix in play here. I think. Um, so yeah, me and my opponent definitely had bad hands. Uh, <laughs> all right, there's the Dene. Maybe they had it in play in their hand last turn and didn't play it. They definitely should have played it last turn. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume this the Dene was a top deck. Let's see if they can piece together that knockout here now, though, that they've uh, gotten the Dedene and went ahead and Dede changed. Uh-oh, here comes Adventure Bag. That's not Beastbringer, so not quite as bad as it could be, but this is still not a great spot to be in. I'm feeling a little bit uh, a little nervous right now. I'm not uh, not confident in this situation right here at all. There is these... They didn't get the Beastbringer, though, so that means basically that it's prized. It basically just means that it's prized. Because uh, otherwise, there'd be no reason to not grab it. Okay, here we go. Intrepid Sword. That is fine with me. That's looking good for us. We're going to knock this guy out. Um, quick ball away this. Get a Zacian to set up. Just need to set up two Zacians. Uh, and the game is basically over from here. But we are down. Oops, attach this here. We are down uh, a couple Metal Saucer, right? Yeah, three Metal Saucers. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely not there quite yet. Got a Vulpix. Here we go. Ultimate Ray Knockout. We need to attack twice. We need to attack two more times, and the game is just kind of over. It's going to get some Metal Energy on a Zacian. Just put all three here. Um, the Beast, they did not grab Beastbringer. This makes me think that Beastbringer is prized for our opponent, which means uh, they can't get ahead in the prize trade any longer. They're going to knock out this for three, and then we go Zacian Knockout, Metal Saucer. Attach Metal, Attach Metal. We still need to find a Metal and a Metal to attach to our ADP to actually guarantee this one uh we also have an aurora energy i guess in the deck so but to guarantee this we still need a couple more cards i guess we're not completely we don't have it locked up yet we're just very close to to having it locked up very close to having it locked up not quite there um only a little bit of ways though we just need an energy two energy over two turns there is a absol not afraid of that at all it looks like they don't have the knockout set up here at all well there's a blown coming down now okay Stadium Nav, Double Tails. You hate to see it for your opponent, but you love to see it for us. Um, no Heat Factory. I assume that's the one they would grab their Ultra Space and do a whole time when they already got the Baby Blown. There's a Crystal that can recover them some energy, but there's an Attach Return, so that makes me think they don't have Weldon. We're probably just going to see an Intrepid Sword, and nope, there's a good Concede. I don't blame my opponent for that one. Let's see if we can't get another dub here. Going first again in this one. Um... I mean, according to the deck box on the sleeves, it's a mirror match. <laughs> we'll see if that stays true to those. Uh, man, we have yet to use the Ninetales, I think. We've gotten very close to it last game, potentially. Or the game before last, actually. The first game we played. Um, just been discarding them a lot, I guess. Okay. Um, this hand is okay. I'm going to open the Zacian. Quick ball for the ADP. Attach the metal. Switch into ADP. Dead a change. I, mean, I guess we'll see what matchup it is. Oh, there is a Mareep. Okay. Um... Maybe still go about it that route though. Um, so yeah, this is one of my uh, least favorite decks uh, to play against. I think we actually hold the switch because we don't want to be put asleep. Yeah, we're just gonna go Intrepid Sword here. Draw some cards to work with. Um, we'll switch next turn. We don't have a Water or an Aurora yet. Hopefully, grab ourselves one. We don't want to lose switches either in this matchup. Um, but I do want to be as aggressive as possible and get off that turn two GX attack. So it is a mill deck. It is the Sleep Lock Control mill deck. Um, one of my least favorite decks to play against, not gonna lie. Um, but it's fine. We're gonna see what we can put together here. We got some stuff we can do. We got some stuff we can do. Nine Tails is pretty gonna be pretty good in this matchup, so we can just get our customs and use them uh, aggressively and efficiently for sure. Gonna be pretty good. Nine Tails might be good to attack with here. The Snowy Wind being able to um, potentially like snipe, knock out stuff like the dolls like pressure double dolls or that snipe 30 can eventually build up to actually be able to take knockouts as well um so maybe maybe that could be a, a big difference maker actually yeah we'll see we'll see what we get here off our top deck what else we get to work with um opponent just gonna go into that intrepid sword early on here 
makes sense. Did not wake up, but it didn't matter. We'd probably have to switch anyways. That is not a water entry. We definitely want to hold this hand. I do not want to lose this hand at all. Do we need those switches to win the game? So I'm gonna give up the um the energy switch here to get a Vulpix. I'm gonna check the deck real fast. We have energy spinner. Our water's in there as well. So we'll just have the GX attack a turn late here, I think. I'm gonna do this. Um, I will attach the fairy here though. Get that ready to go, and then go ahead and intrepid sword. Um, keep one in hand. Um, I'll attach zero to the station. Actually, I'm just gonna take both, both to hand here. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit more. That way, I can attack with the nine tails. I can attack with the ADP as soon as possible as well. One thing we don't have for this matchup that you usually have with ADP station is the skateboards to maneuver your sleeping Pokemon around because we don't play uh we don't play jirachi so we don't play the escape boards there's a mill three what they get a marnie that's unfortunate marnie's really good in this matchup because uh they like to build up to a really big hand to be able to control what they can do and we like to take that big hand away um ideally and here we're sleeping again we got the switches though we're chilling not really worried about it if we get two heads here we're definitely gonna go look at that look for that air balloon um if it is i didn't check but we're gonna have to use this anyways next turn to get the energy spinner to get that water so but I would rather not use a switch if I don't have to. So here we go. Trepid Sword again. Only one head, so. All right, so we're gonna have to use a switch here. Let's go ahead. This and... Um, probably the second custom, to be honest. Just uh, get that in our hand, get that ready to go, ready to utilize. Um, start taking some knockouts. All right, let's do it. Do this. Gonna get a water. Uh, switch and then GX attack. Here we go. Yeah, and if they do end up with a doll in their active, the, uh, we definitely think we're gonna probably go into that. Uh, unless we wake up, of course. We do wake up. Uh, if the ADP does wake up, we just wanna probably attack with uh, ADP. Into, into, even if it is a doll, just a doll in the active, try and get through that first doll. But being able to go like knock out Mareep, snipe a doll sounds, sounds really good. Uh, with that snowy wind. So if they do get a doll down here, which wouldn't be too unlikely if they did, they actually given up Recycle here, which is interesting. That's usually a, a, a card you want to keep. Uh, recycle Energy is pretty good with a Rangaroo, but um, maybe it plans to be one of the cards they resource back this turn or something like that. Um, but yeah, I like that. I like the idea of that snowy wind here uh, for sure. We'll see if they even get the doll, though. If they don't get the doll, we'll just take this knockout on the Mareep. Um, there's that, but there's that all I was talking about. And we're going to be able to go um, switch... Double custom, uh, take out the Mareep with its air balloon, and then snipe this doll. Let's get two heads here anyways. Oof, no. All right, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, attach, switch, double custom the uh, Mareep, and then take out that uh, doll here with that snowy wind. Like I said, I'll say it again. That's pretty good. Uh, now they have to send up something we can kind of knock out here. Uh, and then we're just one prize a card, one prize card away, or one knockout away, not one prize card, one knockout away from winning the game. Um, they went up with the Orangaroo here, so it looks like they're committed to letting this Orangaroo take a hit. Uh, we got one custom in the deck, one custom prize. So we need them to not mill our custom in the deck, and we need to get the custom out of our prize cards, or we need to wake up at some point probably to like guaranteed close this one out. Um, so that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at getting the custom out of the, the prize cards, getting the custom off the deck. We have switched to make sure we're not asleep at some point, and then use the customs, knock out something off the bench, get around a doll, win the game. If not, we're probably looking at we're gonna, just going to get milled out. Um, no surprise. There's a doll. All right, the Mareep is back already, and they got the switch, so we're going to get Fluffy Pillowed here already again. Um, and here comes Surge. Uh, are they going to Bryson Man? There was the Surge. Okay, I was going to say... All right, we're just looking for the custom. All right, no custom yet. Unstack, let's take a look. Here comes another one. Two, three, no custom yet again. All right, we're chilling. Yeah, there's the doll. Okay, they just end up sending up the doll. That's fine. Let's see, let's get a double heads here. Nope, a tails again. Draw for turn, air balloon. I think it's just gonna be pass. We could attach here, I guess. Get rid of this uh, other chase. I don't think I really want an intrepid sword. I think we just pass. We're hoping for a double heads at some point, I think, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're just going to get milled out uh, if we stay asleep. We need to get a heads at some point. Uh, double heads, ideally, or we are just going to... Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, just going to get milled out. Let's see how many pal pads. Oh, two pal pad, two Bryson man. So they're going to have to go into a Rangar eventually, which you do have that switch for. And then it's going to come down to waking up custom out of prize cards, custom off the top of the deck. 
and uh, hope from there. Surge already. Is this another double Bryson Mana? Caitlyn and Cynthia into a Bryson Mana, it looks like here. Um, yep, yeah, there's the Bryson Man. And yeah, I didn't draw any card decision because I'm not trying to take cards out of my deck because that means it's that much easier for my opponent to uh, to win the game. Here comes a Bryson Man, Mill 3. They got the custom, so we're going to need to do a lot of waking up here. Um, yeah, a lot of waking up is going to have to happen at this point. That is not it. Let's see what we draw for turn. Reset stamp. Um, pass. <laughs> I think my game plan is now to catch my opponent with six cards total left between their deck and their hand, and then stamp them to six. Uh, it's definitely possible to have happen. Um, I've done it before. Um, could definitely do it again. Um, it's always fun to do. Um, people usually don't play around stamp as much in anymore in ADP station as well. So it's very possible uh, my opponent could play to. I actually think I'm playing against Shintaro right now. So it's very possible uh, Shintaro right here could do that. Play to six. Very good player. But uh, when you don't expect your opponent to play stamp, not that hard. Not, it's pretty easy to walk into, actually. All right, Doll is under. We are awake, though. They're going to put us back to sleep. Here we go. Mareep. Gotta love him. Put me to sleep. Maybe they don't have part of the Macargo combo. We haven't seen the Mewtwo GX yet, I don't think. Um, here comes the resource management, though. So I don't think the stamp play is going to work out. Oh, that's, they could win next turn. They can hit us. Bellaba, Bellaba. Macargo GX's GX attack through Mewtwo. And kind of end this one. Um, so I'm kind of hoping they don't hit that. Um, but it's very possible we just lose next turn, even if I... Uh, yeah, there's like nothing to do. I think I'm probably going to stand because I should probably just need to reset their hand. Um, double heads one time? Nope. All right, so we're going to have to use our switch to take this knockout. Um, keep the stamp play available to us, I guess. Um, debating if I just want to play. Now, ultimate ray. We'll keep the stamp play available. I think, yeah, we're just out of gas here. Don't want to take any energy. Almost took an energy there. I was like, you know, using ultimate ray usually means you want to take energy. Big charm, not going to do anything. Never got the custom catcher. Anyways, this could get us the Marnie, which could be potentially effective against our opponent's current uh, situation but i have a feeling it's it's very possible we just lose the game uh this turn they gotta have that uh double bryson man well they have four bryson man here and they put the pal pad in the deck so maybe not maybe it's not possible for us to lose right here right now actually yeah maybe they can't pull it off quite yet um we'll see here what else they got they, they're not by, out of dolls by any means they have what all four dolls left so they have a lot of time to work with, unfortunately. They could even go like bench doll, bench doll, or put us to sleep, bench doll, bench doll, retreat to a doll, um, put it under the deck, send up another doll, uh, bench another doll, and then intrepid sword, leave themselves with just a doll in deck, which we can't abuse because we don't play any um, uh, mill cards. We can't mill our opponent at all. Um, this into Marnie could be an out, uh, but the amount of dolls they have left is making this very difficult um our basically our only condition at win condition at some point i think was the double custom catcher which we obviously don't have anymore um so now i think it's becoming ridiculously hard to actually potentially win this game now there's an ordinary rod i'm su i'm assuming we'll see the pal pad come down as well for the the double bryson man second pokey doll yeah like i said they got a lot of pokey dolls left here comes that pal pad Double Bryson man, gonna see an Intrepid Sword. They gather. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna get low enough in the hand size here to actually have us be able to pull off that stamp play. Uh, we could go for the Marnie play to disrupt them, but we'd also need to like wake up to start be able to take to start being able to take knockouts, which doesn't seem like it's also gonna happen as well. So I think we're just kind of gonna get kind of stuck here. Let's see. Yeah, the Marnie play would be our out at this point. We'd also have to like wake up this turn, and they'd have to probably prize two dolls. No wake up. No point in trying to dig for the Marnie. Just uh, pass. And I think we're on the same route of uh, hope our opponent uh, brick or goes down to six cards between hand and deck. We stamp them and kind of deck them out. I think that is the to the point where we are right now against our opponent. But there's the Mewtwo. There's the fire. Here comes the surge double Bryson man. And yeah, the game is over. Skateboards, more switches definitely make the difference in this matchup. Also, Pokemon catchers are a very big deal. But when we don't run those, we're trying to make the nine tails work. We got, I think we got decently close. I didn't expect to win this one, but um, did what I could. L in the end. Um, but that's going to do it for this video with the ADP Ninetales. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.